Good morning everyone, my name is Thomas Havgalovic and this is the second video in a series of videos I'm showing on how to go from vanilla AutoCAD into Plant 3D. <clears throat> so the, uh, the file that you see on the screen now is uh, an AutoCAD Plant 3D pan ID with a vanilla AutoCAD XRIFT in the background. In, in my first video I, I showed how to uh, basically trace over um, some of the PNID lines. Uh, I personally prefer it this way just because then you're not going to bring any junk in from the original file. So what we're going to have a look at today is doing things like equipment. So you can see here we've got some preheaters here uh, as an XREF in the background so they are just um, again just basic vanilla AutoCAD uh, objects. Um, if I look at my tool palettes for equipment here, uh, I do have some miscellaneous vessels, I've got some agitators, I've got some storage tanks, even some different exchanges, uh, compressors and blowers and pumps. Now this is the out of the box setup, so I'm just going to use possibly one of the other vertical vessels here, so let's do something like this uh, miscellaneous vessel. So. Uh, I'm just going to turn my snap off and then we're going to do something like place it in the middle of this snap point here and then adjust the size and the scale of it. So uh, I'm just going to give it a, a, just a, a random number for now. Okay, so then what we can do there is have a look at what it looks like when we unload our XREF. So you can see that this is, is the tank here uh, and then just to extend that line I'm going to run it perpendicular and then you can see PNID will automatically add the nozzle. If you really wanted to you could right click on that and say edit the objects block which will take us into the block editor and then you can adjust uh, things like the, the the ends of the vessel here, the supports and anything else. So I'm not really going to do that at, at this point in time. So that's option one. For option two, we were copying and pasting from the original file. So from the original 2D uh, AutoCAD PNID file. So this is where I can do something like copy the ammonia preheater itself with all of the nozzles, so control C that, and then I can control V it into my file. Now this has obviously been drawn just as um, lines and, and elements, there's no uh, blocking of it, so I'm going to make a block, call it preheater, do the base point, select the objects and go OK. So now I've converted it to an AutoCAD block. To bring that as a PNID object we right click on it and we say convert to PNID object. So now it's obviously not an inline asset. Um, we might call it pump a tank, just a vessel. That's the class that it generates. Uh, that's going to be put into inside pin ID and then we can annotate it and also give it a tag. So same thing, I can call this tag number 1000 Then you can see it inherits all the properties. So now if we look at our data manager we can see that we do have TK1000 in this file and then we have TK100 which again in another project could be the same name and number. So hopefully that answers some more questions about going from AutoCAD to AutoCAD Plant 3D PNID.